Okay, this is a beef heart, and we're going to go over the parts of the beef heart that you would need to know for the practical. And I'm going to just go over them fairly quickly, but we did do it in class, so hopefully it'll be a good review for you. Here is a substance called adipose. If we were to point to one of the vessels, you would say coronary vessel. This layer here is the epicardium. This part of the heart is the apex. On the surface, which is the base of the heart, you have your atria, which are lying or have the fringe, which is called the oracle. This is the left atria, this is the right atria. On the left atria, you have this structure right here that goes into the left atria. This is a pulmonary vein. Remember, left side is oxygenated blood. On the right side, with the right atria, you have three structures that go into the right atria. You have your superior, superior vena cava, your inferior vena cava here, and then the third thing that dumps into your right atrium, deoxygenated blood, is this structure here which is your coronary sinus. So if I was to have a pin here and say where was the blood before it was here, you would say cardiac veins. Whereas the blood after it passes here is right atrium. So coronary sinus collects all the deoxygenated blood from the heart muscle itself, takes it to the right. When you're looking at the vessels on the uh, base of the heart, anything that is very sturdy, like this is an artery, uh, very sturdy walls because of the high oxygen um, and pressure. This is uh, part of the aortic arch. These are some of the branches off the aortic arch. You can tell the difference between that and then the um, right here, posterior to it is your pulmonary trunk, flabby, okay, because of deoxygenated. If I had a pin in the pulmonary trunk and said, where was the blood before here? You'd say pulmonary semilunar valve. Where is the blood after it leaves here? You would say pulmonary arteries. The pericardium is not on this heart. Here's part of it here. Remember, peri means around the heart. We did have a deer heart that showed the full pericardium. Okay, internal structures. So we talked about pericardium, epicardium, all this shiny layer here is endocardium. All three of them are um, types, different types of epithelium as well as some fibrous tissue and connective tissue. This is epithelial, endocardium inside the heart. You can see the big left side versus the small right side on these ventricular walls. Left side because of, it has to pump to the system, systemic circulation right side because it pumps to the pulmonary circulation. So it's very uh, much closer than the left. When you look at this, I would say area, you would say left ventricle. If I said type of blood here, you'd say oxygenated. If I said what is this structure here, that's a papillary muscle attached to chordae tendinae and then to the valve. So on the left side you have your bicuspid or mitral valve on the right side, you have your tricuspid valve. I always remembered it right, RT, tricuspid, right. Chordae tendinae, papillary muscle. Your big inner ventricular septum. Next week, we're going to add conduction structures. Structures. If I said what conduction structures would you find here, you'd say bundle branches or bundle of hiss on the ventricular walls, on the uh, exterior ventricular walls, Purkinje fibers, all up and down in here. Myocardium, cardiac tissue. Um, next to your bicuspid valve, you have your first semilunar valve, no chordae tendinae. This is your aortic semilunar valve. It is at the base of the ascending aorta, and also at the base of the ascending aorta, you can see possibly these holes that are at the uh, ascending aorta. Those are where your coronary arteries arise. You want the highest pressure and the highest oxygen blood feeding your heart. 
So those are your coronary, one of your coronary arteries where it, it arises from. Now on this right side, so you have your tricuspid valve, papillary muscle, um, you have your right atrium up here. These, this atrial wall has pectinate muscles that help it with its contraction. I do not see the, um, the pulmonary semilunar valve is down below here. Okay, but again, it would look similar to this aortic with this type of flap of tissue. Um, I think that is about it. So that is your typical mammalian heart.